In this video, I will show you how to use the Set Column Values dialog. We're going to begin by importing a CSV file. In the Options dialog, we're going to specify the number of subheader lines. We're also going to choose the first line of subheader as the long name and the second as comments. And now we want to save these settings into the worksheet itself because we'll save this as a template. We're going to click OK. That data file will come in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a second sheet and do some calculations. In this second sheet, which has two columns, the first column, or X column, is going to be the time values here, plus this start time. So we'll add the start time to the values here. And then in our Y column, it'll be a scan, which will be sample minus reference. So let's go ahead, we right click, we go to set column values, and now we need to insert a range variable by selection. So we can go out and select this time column. Now we're given the range variable here R1 in terms of the worksheet column name as well as an index. Because we're saving a template, names could change. We're going to delete that and it'll be best to refer to it by index. Now we have to also get that start time that's in the column label row. We can again do this by selection. Again, we have a string, both defined here in name and index. So we're going to keep things consistent. We delete that. And let's uh, use the index. So now from this string, we need to get the numeric value we're going to create a variable of type double and then from this string we're going to use the string functions here we first need to get the eighth most right points or characters and this is string 1. And then we need to convert that string to time. So now in our formula, our expression here, it's going to be R1 plus T0. And let's go ahead and set our recalculate here to auto. Now these are numeric values, so if we double click, we can change the format of the column to time. Okay. Now we want to do the calculation on this column as well. And I need to define again a couple of range variables here. The first one is reference. And the second one is sample. We can actually go ahead and change the name here. So this is our reference range. Again, we're going to stick to index. And this is sample. So then our expression is sample minus reference. I'm just going to left click on the lock and go to change parameters here and our recalculate is set to auto. So they're both set to auto.
So that means that these formulas will automatically run when data changes in this worksheet here. So let's save this as a template. So I'm going to right click and choose Save Template As. We're going to call it Scan. Now we can open up a new instance of this template under Recent Books. You can see that the template saves the column label row information as well as the formulas. If you wanted, you could resave the template, deleting this comments here. The comments will be replaced with the header information from a new file. So if I were to import another data file, notice that it picks up as the theme the settings in the sheet. The data comes in, and in our second sheet, our columns are automatically populated. The formulas associated with each column were executed. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.